Welcome YouTube friends. Today we are doing five great beginner reformer exercises for mobility in the lower body. And uh, I love these exercises. I think you can do them you know, anytime after a tough workout or on your recovery days and or if you're just looking to increase your flexibility. So I'm using a reformer and uh, we're gonna start with some standing work. So some uh, work that's kind of for the full leg. So what I'm gonna do is a, it's called a single thigh stretch, but I'm doing it from the floor and I'm doing a modification of it. So guys, I'm using one heavy spring here on the Marathu reformer. Uh, so just put on kind of a, either a regular or a heavy spring that you would use. And then from here, I'm gonna put my back foot against the shoulder rest. My front foot is up next to the front of the reformer. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just a sinking lunge here. So I'm using my glute to help me not tip my pelvis all the way forward and really get a decent stretch on that hip flexor uh, of the back leg side. So I sink down and you can exhale and inhale, come up. Shoulders are open. I'm just using the foot bar here for support and I'm really thinking about mobilizing the hip on this back leg side. So again, as I sink down, I'm tightening my glutes, tightening my abs to prevent my pelvis from just tipping all the way forward. Then I'm gonna stay down there, and part two of this one is I push back and come forward. The back knee is resting on the carriage, and now I'm straightening the front knee and bending. This is, for some people, gonna give you a pretty good hamstring stretch, depending on how tight you are, but it's also gonna give you an increased stretch in that hip flexor of the back leg side. So I exhale, press back, inhale, come forward. Now again, my hands are just resting on the foot bar. I'm pushing apart, pushing away with my feet, and that gives you a more active stretch here. Now, I'm gonna come in to this deep lunge here, and all I'm gonna do is push the carriage back by lifting the back knee, straightening the back leg, and then coming back in. Exhale, I'm tightening the glute here in the back leg and coming in. And this is increasing that hip flexor stretch even more, getting deeper into that movement. And there, now from here, I'm gonna hold that back leg straight and I'm gonna press back. And now I'm doing what is we do up on top of the reformer, which is our front split. But I'm, again, just doing it from the floor, which helps start to increase that range of motion. Exhaling back and inhaling forward, woo -hoo. Okay, I can feel that in my hip flexor for sure. All right, now, I'm gonna come over to the other side. I like to use a spring on the same side I'm working on that helps the carriage move smoothly. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, starting with our just sinking into a lunge here. So remember, we wanna keep the glutes tight, we wanna keep the abs engaged as we sink down and come back up. Make sure your foot, knee, and hip are aligned and we can just exhale, sink into it, and inhale, come up. Front knee is just aligning right over the center of the foot. Now, we're gonna hold on down there, we push back, and come forward. And again, press back through, and come forward. Really engage the glutes here on both sides to help you keep that pelvis in check and not just let it flop forward. Otherwise, you don't get as good a stretch in the hip flexor, and you take more in the lower back. Now we push back, lifting the back knee and coming in, pressing through, and three, whew, stay low, keep the abs engaged, and don't hold your breath. Then hold the knee straight, push the feet apart, and come back in. Again, pressing away, and coming back in. Shoulders open, push back two more, and one more time right here, pressing through, coming in, and you can lower that knee back down. Now, from here, we're gonna come on to the reformer for our third one, and I'm gonna go to two heavy springs for this one, and I'm gonna come down onto the reformer on my back, let me enter from the side, and place the straps on my feet, And this is a, a exercise I learned years ago, and it's called the adductor stretch. It's really simple. You start by lifting the legs up and bringing them up as high as you can, 
And guys, it's really important here, in order to keep this in the hamstrings, you don't wanna let the lower back collapse and curl the tailbone up. You wanna keep that lower back down, knees as straight as you can without locking them, and have a little space between your lower back and the carriage. That's gonna really keep it in the lower body and out, again, out of the back. Then I'm gonna open the legs out to the side and come back in. So you're getting a little tension on the hamstrings here and we're getting a good stretch here through the inner thigh, through the adductor muscle. And one more time, opening and closing. Now what I'm gonna do is bring this down a few inches, not very far, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna open, try to keep your feet at the same level so the carriage might move a little bit and open and come back in and exhale as you open and come back in. Now once again, I'm gonna lower the legs down a few inches, keeping my pelvis right where it is and open and come back in. So we're hitting the different fibers of the adductors with all of these different positions and in, and then I'm gonna lower down one more time. And from here, open, exhale, and close. Keep the pelvis nice and steady. Remember, don't let it tilt back. And two more, and one more. And in, and then bend your knees and come back in. Now, we're gonna come up, and we've targeted hip flexors and a little bit of glute. Now we're gonna really get into the back of the leg here. So I'm gonna go to just one heavy spring, get that foot bar down out of the way. And I'm gonna have a seat here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is a stretch forward. So from here, my leg is parallel. I'm just holding on to the straps here and sitting tall. I'm gonna flex forward, exhale, and reach right over that leg and then come back up. So this is a mat exercise that we do called a spine stretch forward, but usually with both legs out. Here, I'm gonna flex slightly toward that leg. So I'm kind of centering myself over that leg. It's not too wide out there, but I'm centering over that leg. I'm keeping the foot flexed and exhaling over and coming back in. So what I wanna do is start to move my pelvis forward here as much as I can so I feel that hamstring stretch. The resistance gives you some help to really get into the abs here to help you flex forward and come back up tall. Now let's do that on the other side. So one leg folded in, one out, and with that leg folded in as you stretch forward, getting a little bit of a glute stretch as well. And reach over, but the emphasis is on that long leg here. So think, keep, keep thinking about reaching the heel forward and coming back in, and it's an exhale over last time and come up. Now we've got one more here. We're gonna go into a little running stretch. So I'm gonna finish up with calf muscles. I'm gonna go to three heavy springs, but just put on you know, either two or three heavy springs. I'm gonna get those straps out of the way. I'm gonna come down onto the carriage here and I go into what we call high half toe. So you're standing really on the tips of your, the balls of the feet with your heels lifted. Put your feet in line with your sit bones. Then from here, push out. What I'm gonna do is bend one knee and I'm gonna reach the other heel under without hyper extending that knee. Come back up, switch sides, the abs stay engaged, the hips stay square, don't let them move around. Come back up. Exhale, reach the heel under. So the springs really help you pull the heel under and give you a really nice stretch on the calf. It's also gonna stretch the bottom of the foot for you too. So if you've got tight plantar fascia, this is a really nice exercise to work through and up and then come back in. So that does it. That is five great exercises for the lower body. And as you can see, they're all beginner level. So check those out and please hit the like button if you liked this and subscribe to our channel so that you get all of our videos. See you next time. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.